I don't look straight at the camera the whole time. I am at work and I just was really decent to get this video out of the way. So if you do hear music in the background, it's because I'm at work. I have to play music in my store. So I made this video because I just wanted to share my truth and personally my comparison from last year and this year beautycon. So if you if you're willing to listen to what I have to say, stay tuned. First things first, I was super excited because this year I have bought the whole packet. So last year when I went to BeautyCon, I bought the regular two-day admission, general admission ticket. So this year I got the whole package, which was $215 exactly. And I was excited not only because of that, it's because like, you know, I'm there two days again and then I guess I have access to certain places. So I thought um you know just everything that they say about it like you're supposed to have free access to certain things um you get a 200 dollars worth bag with makeup in it so you know you think it's you know cool whatever another reason why i was excited was because it's makeup makeup is life for me i love makeup and i just was really excited about that so Another reason why I was excited was because I went with someone I didn't know from a hole in the wall, girl. I didn't know who she was. We met each other on BeautyCon's Instagram. I was on BeautyCon um, Instagram and they wrote, like, oh, tag your friends who you're coming to BeautyCon with. And I wrote, I'm going alone, but it's okay. I'm going to have fun still. So somebody, she saw it and she wrote, like, hey, I'm going alone too. Like, you know, do you want to come with me? And blah, blah, blah. So we ended up I each of his numbers, spoke on the phone, we even FaceTime, so like I felt like security because we FaceTime, but I was still a little scared because people was crazy, you never know what people try to do. So that was that, I was really excited to meet her, um, also nervous, because like I said, like, you know, catfish is real, girls, like, and guys, catfish is real. So, fast forward, I'm gonna try to make this long story so short, but fast forward, um, other the same day because she lives in um Dag, I forgot where she lives she lives in Minnesota, Minnesota that's where she lives in Minnesota so she came here to BeautyCon New York City so she came her father lives in the Bronx just like me and we ended up meeting up her father came to pick me up with her and he took us to BeautyCon so when I met her I was happy my mom came downstairs with me she met her dad everything it was cool perfect I felt good vibes she was excited I felt like I knew her for a long time so that was great so then we get to BeautyCon, we're having fun, we're vlogging. So as soon as I keep going, keep going, you know, I'm like, all right, it's cool, whatever. We get upset because we, as soon as we get there, we get our whole of that package, the bag. So we like, okay, let's go get the pack, let's go get the bag first, and then after we can go get something else. I mean, like you know, we can go to the online to get free stuff. Boom. We go and we um go get our holo bag. So when we got it, we opened it real quick to just see like you know what was in it, see if we like anything. We opened it, we didn't see anything but hair products. And that quick glimpse of looking inside the bag, we was just like, okay. It was heavy though, so we was like, you know what? I'm gonna give them the medicine for the doubt. Let's keep let's just have fun, let's enjoy beauty con until it's time for us. To go home and then we'll look inside and you know then that's what we'll judge we, we didn't want nothing to do when i was there so beauty con you know first day we're having fun we're having fun getting to know each other um we didn't really see no one talking on the main stage because he was busy trying to get stuff and take pictures and have fun we got too caught up so by the time that happened we came at 10 a.m because when you have the whole package, you're, you're supposed to be there at 10 a.m. You don't have to, but you should because why not? You have access there two hours ahead of the general admission to get your free products. So, it keep going. We'll be like, you know, we have tomorrow to come back here. We don't want to see everything and then, you know, get annoyed because tomorrow we're not going to know what to do. So, we end up leaving around like 5-ish. Yeah, so we end up leaving at like around 3-ish or whatever. We was hungry. So, we was like, you know what? Let's go out to a bar. Let's go out, you know? downtown why not so we can get to eat, know each other even more so that day went okay it was well it was cool like you know because you know 
it was the first day, so you know, we didn't want to feel too overwhelmed and we didn't want to see too much because we was going back the next day, same time and everything. And plus, on that Sunday, we just we was going to be happy for the next day because Cardi B was going to be there. We was just super excited to see her and everything. So, when we get home that first day, we look inside our holo bags and me and her is just going off. Like, we are upset. Mind you, rewinding back, um, I remember when, you know, it was white girls, they had their whole bag and they was looking inside and they was going off like, this is worthless, like I can't use this, blah, blah. and I understood why they was upset because most of the stuff in there was put natural curly hair. Um, they can use the hair products as well, but it was mainly for people with curly hair, puffy hair, afro hair, like, you know, like that. So, I understand why they was upset. I was most, I was happy about the products because those products are very known and expensive and actually good. And they was good for my hair type and my friend's hair type as well. But the gag is, it was only like probably like four makeup products in there. Isn't this beauty con? Not hair con. This is beauty con. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why it's nothing but hair stuff. It was really mad. Like, I'm a makeup artist. I thought I was going to at least get my money back, you know, at least by getting products that I can use on my clients. And not only my clients, but myself. Like, you know, I was just really upset because this is my second experience. My first experience was amazing. Like, if you guys see my vlog, my whole life, if you go back into last year of my first time going to beauty con, I had an amazing time. And I was alone. I went by myself. So, like, I ended up bumping into people. I had a great time last year. So, I was just, like, like, I thought the whole of bag was supposed to be popping. Like, what happened? So, we, we was, like, going forward to the next day. On Sunday, we was excited because Party B was going to be there. And other famous people was going to be there. So, long story short, on Sunday, we were just disappointed because it was the same vendors, makeup vendors there. It was Too Faced there, um, L'Oreal. <laughs> Sally Beauty. It was different, like, vendors there, like, you know, stuff, giving away their stuff. Not even giving away. You have to basically pay for the products, which is no problem. I get it. Everything in life isn't free. But what I didn't like is that last year when we went, when I went last year, I got a lot of free things. A lot of free things. And they, you had the option either to buy stuff as well. You didn't have to only get, like, free stuff. And... They didn't have that much vendors. Like last year, there was Mac. Mac took a whole big section. It was Mac, Urban Decay, um, Tarte. It was so much vendors and here vendors there too. Like this year was just a big fail. Didn't like it. Um, I actually commented on Lala's video because Lala made a video saying how we're being dramatic or something like that. Basically, summing it up, we're being dramatic. No girls were not being dramatic. If you came to Beauty Con New York City experience this year in 2019, you already know the real deal. We didn't have a good time. She's lit, she's famous, she's seeing people on the regular, you know, she's seeing people that we want to see. Like, she had a good time for her first experience hosting Beauty Con, and I give that to her. So, that's her experience. Every experience is different, but my experience and my friend experience wasn't cool. And I felt bad because the girl that I went with, that was her first time going to beauty con so it was just really crazy by the way at the end of this video i'm gonna show the hauler bag and all the products that was in there because i made a video of the products we got i can just tell you things on top of my head of what i remember um in the hauler bag there was two bottles of vagina pills okay i didn't know what that was what that was about but okay um it was like a lipstick mascara an eyeliner and that's it of makeup wise everything else was hair products you're gonna see you're gonna see watch it's right here so this is what i got for my hula bag this was what i paid for 200 dollars let me be exact 215 i paid for 215 dollars don't mind my cups yes so Nails, nails, more nails, hair products, vagina pills. These two are vagina pills. Hair products, hair products. And this is only the makeup products I got. Isn't Beauty Con about makeup or not?
what you guys saw when I was talking about. Can you please leave your opinions in the comments below because I just don't understand what beauty con is about this year. I'm trying to think other things like that. Oh, I was really upset about that, the whole Cardi B situation because she was supposed to be there at 3 or 4 p.m. and then all of a sudden she was, they said that she was supposed to really be there at 2 but she wasn't and then when 4 came she didn't come. So what happened was we waited at the main stage, waited for her for so long that we was just over it. We wanted to leave because we didn't eat nothing all day. All day, mind you, we was drinking. I don't know why we was drinking and didn't eat nothing. Like, we was drinking and everything and we was lit and we was just, after a while, it was wearing off and we was just so hungry. So we was like, okay, Cardi, where are you? Like, you know, we love you, girl, but we, we hungry. So we was like, you know, we're going to walk around get some stuff until she come. So... Boom. I was uh, like an hour past. It's six. No, it's not six. An hour past like five. Mind you, beauty con ends at six o'clock. We wait for her. We wait for her. She takes forever to come. Then she finally come. I understand when people are booked and busy, especially when you're famous. You have so much going on, and you're never gonna say no to money to a check. You're never gonna say no. So you're gonna always say yes to people. So you can get your coins and you could, you know, make your appearance and be your fan. So I get the whole simple fact that she was booked and busy. I understand that. But so I'm not really too mad at her. I'm just I'm just mad that I didn't get to see her. You know, I'm just upset because when she came, we left the main stage and what got me and my friend really, really upset is that they blocked off like the way how the Javis Center is, it's like three sections in like a row. So this is like the section where you walk in, you come into the place, a big section, and then there's a middle section where the main stage is only, and next to the main stage is the end where all the vendors, way more space, the vendors, the DJ, and everything is at. So me and my friend is in, at the end of it trying to go to the main stage so we can sit down. The security won't let us in the main stage area because there's doors here that they can close and then you can open so it could, like it's all in one they had it closed and we could only go through all the other way so we was just upset we like we paid 200 dollars whatever whatever i don't understand why we can't come in whatever so we end up still coming in because what you thought this was period like we getting in here so we get in there they say that she's not because she's still not here boom we get mad we fed up we like whatever so then we go to a the first area of the section, if you get what I'm saying, go to the first area section, and we go to Fashion Nova, where she collabs with. So we like the people in Fashion Nova, we take pictures in the booth and everything, and then the people in Fashion Nova, basically it's like you know Cardi's gonna come over here, she's gonna stop here, and take a picture. So we was like, oh, we just hype, like all right, cool. So we now she said there's nobody in the Fashion Nova area because everybody was in the main stage area. So we sat down over there, waited for her for an hour. She never came to the Fashion Nova Park because she legit came like 5.30 p.m. And again, Beauty Con is over at 6 p.m. Mario's story, he wasn't happy. And I'm just still trying to figure out what they're gonna do for us. Cause I feel like I wasted my money. My $215 that is, I'm just upset. I'm just upset. It's cool though, if they, do something for me I will definitely make a video to show you guys what they got me and or give me I don't know what they're gonna do but that's my experience that's my truth and that's it you guys at the end of this video you know my little clips that I took up pictures with I made the best of my experience this year with my with her um I'm gonna show you the things that we did. We made each other have an amazing time. Like, we made our own day, like, basically. Like, so, I'm gonna show you pictures and videos. Okay, right, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Really, though? <laughs> Yeah. So which one is hauler? Isn't this one hauler? Oh, okay. So we're in the hauler.
a Gemini is to look. <laughs> you have that silky hair. Hey, get it! Hey. 